Hey folks, welcome to this tutorial on modifying a Lego train motor. In this video there is soldering, so what I will say from the beginning is if you can't afford to break your Lego train motor then don't try this. Also, find someone who knows what they're doing or a responsible adult. I couldn't find a responsible adult so I'm going to have to do it myself. The original way I did this was I just added the motor and put the second motor on the sub channel of the IR receiver. I'll put a link to the video on the original way I did it, but now I'm going to have to crack open a motor, solder it so it reverses the way it works, and it will all be running on the same channel. All right, so this is the motor here. I'm going to take the wheels off as well because we need to take the whole thing apart. So, in order to take one of these motors apart, you need a sort of a star shaped screwdriver it's a t6 and this fits so you just have to there are six screws on the motor so i'll just take those off now okay so now we've removed all six of the screws we can just take off the bottom like so and Place it over there, nice and safe. You can see we've got two gears here. And we've got the wires here. Now we want these wires to swap over so we reverse the direction of the motor. And that means when we connect it, we can connect it to the same channel and the motors will go in the same way and it becomes a lot easier. To get this to actually do it, we need to do some soldering. So we'll take these off but uh, if we take this and we take the motor there's a little thing kind of like a catch thing here if we look that we need to take out as well and it should all separate like that next we need to get the soldering iron in okay so here we have the soldering kit we've got a soldering iron we've got a heat proof mat I have got some solder, but there's probably enough on the actual connections to leave them as is. Like I said, get someone who knows what they're doing to do this, otherwise you could uh, wreck your motor. So just got to melt the solder. Watch melting the plastic as well on the motor. We don't want to do that. So you just want to give it just a little touch just to melt the solder and that cable should come away there's actually a hole in this sort of small tab which we need to poke this cable in again but we're just interested in separating it at the moment so there we've separated it and now we need to uh, reverse it. So this was that side, that side was that side. So we need to just make sure we flip it over again to this. And the other side. There we have it, so the wires are now switched over. Make sure we turn off the soldering iron. Put it somewhere safe so we don't burn ourselves. And we also need to switch this around this little cable here. So if I do this, there's no way of actually reversing it, it's kind of a fairly solid clipped in piece, I think. So all I'm gonna do just twist it round differently. And there we have it. So we've reversed the way the motor should go. And now we should be able to put it back. Like 
like so. So now we just uh, tidy away these cables so they're not going to get in the way. screwdriver just to put this in place properly. So we put the gear in again. So that's in nice and flush. We put the other one at the other side which drives other wheels so now we've got the small gears in we just put these bits back in so we flip those over so there's the orange one that meets up with that other white gear this one meets up with the that white gear and then we can put the, this on and it should hopefully fit uh, fitted first time there we go so we're uh, screwing all these screws again and uh, we'll check that it's running okay so what I've done is I've put in two screws but we'll find out if it's running and if it's working so go over here we've got the IR receiver here plug it into the blue side the IR receiver plug it into the battery turn that on we use the remote run channel one blue and it's working so I haven't broken it, that's good. So there you go, that is the uh, tutorial on modifying the motor. So if we look now, this is on, and it's just one channel, I've got it on red. It's a red chain. So uh, it's all running, one channel, both motors. And that should make life a lot easier controlling the railway. Well, thanks for watching. If you uh, enjoyed this video, click the thumbs up, click the like button, and subscribe to see more. See you in the next one. Bye.